Maybe that's why it's because it wasn't there. It's within reachable space, right? Mm -hmm. Be so hard. Screen sharing. Stop live stream. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. We're trying to get you guys up a uh, PDF basically that's going to give you a whole bunch of information. So hang on just a second for me. Yeah. So maybe that's why it's because it wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the little details, right? It's space, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys don't need to hear that. I'm gonna give you. A <laughs> all right. Uh, we think so, we're live. <laughs> I really hope this is actually posting. So if not, you guys can laugh at us all later, um, and we'll give that a try. Hi. So we have um, got some really fun information that we learned today on our call. So, or I guess it was a, a live video stream earlier today. Um, so these are some of the wonderful information that we found out. So the Luminaire um, is basically being upgraded. So the Luminaire is now the Luminaire 2. Don't worry if you are someone out there that owns a Luminaire 1, you can turn your Luminaire 1 into a Luminaire 2. Two. So I don't think they saw that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on the screen. Right? <laughs> it, it sounds really good. So all of the features that are on the Luminaire 1 are going to be on the Luminaire 2 Plus. Um, some of the new things, um, if you have a Stellaire, um, which is one of the new machines last year, uh, you might have an app on your phone called My Design Snap. Um, and they use that for an actual um, video um, of their their hooping area. And instead of scanning, like we can scan on our Luminaires and our Solarises, they can't scan on theirs. So um, they use a special app. Well, we don't need the full capabilities of the app. Um, but it will allow us to use our design center or the IQ designer, if you're a Solaris person, um, to upload files um, that we can create and digitize designs with. So we have that update coming up. Um, if you already have that app, you can download it. Um, it won't work until you get the new pieces on the machine. Um, there are um, new designs. So you had um, 1,157 1, designs originally. Uh, if you have purchased upgrade one, you got 75 additional designs. Um, the new machine has 1,322 designs. What's that? Uh, okay, so, um, well, it's recording on Zoom, so we can always post it. We can. Um, so here we have um, new, um, <laughs> we have a new, we have a new sticker. <laughs> this Here's is really a new sticker. This is much harder than it, <laughs> it should be. <laughs> this is way harder than it should be. Um, so there's a new sticker for a new sewing technology. They call it um, the uh, endpoint um, positioning sticker. So um, we are, we are there. Yay! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we were questioning whether we are live yet. So we're definitely technically uh, challenged, challenged today. when it comes to this. We're standing too close to the. <laughs> To the, the stuff to, to the see screens, it. it's terrible. So, so anyway, new, new stuff in echo stitching. Um, so inner fill available, uh, donut shapes. Um, these are things that you're getting um, in the upgrade kit number two. Um, we will explain those in more detail later. Um, that is, I'm basically just reading some of the snippets of the stuff that is actually on here. Um, so you know, again, we'll have more specifics <laughs> later on. There's a lot of information that we're planning on giving to you. We are in Zoom. Yeah. We are, okay. yes, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Everybody is being very helpful right now. All getting Hi guys, do you guys want to join us on the Zoom Live? Tony just turned around and walked away. <laughs> Say the hi, heck Tony. 
no. <laughs> so um, lots of fun things in there. Um, so some changes, um, enhancing that design center, um, or if you six are- new designs. And six new fill designs, which those are my favorites. We can never have enough of those. So if you are a Solaris owner, um, same thing goes for all of this stuff. Um, there will be an equivalency in the Baby Lock line as well. Um, today happened to be brothers, quote rah, unquote, rah-rah convention day. So um, this is information that we have is currently all brother, but everything will be uh, pretty much balanced out on both sides of the line. So. so we have six new designs in the design center. We have new um, abilities for um, adding quilting. We have really fun new capabilities in borders. Um, really cool stuff, some hexagons and some new patterns. Two-tone and two -tone threads. So you can actually have two different colors of thread in your bordering now. Um, it's really, really cool stuff. We can't wait to actually show you guys all in person. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, moving on, <laughs> we'll come back to that if you guys have questions. And again, you there can- There is that beautiful- Make your upgrade make your Luminaire 1 a two. into a Luminaire 2. So um, lots of fun things. All of the things that we've talked about that are different with the Luminaire 2, you can make happen by upgrading um, and using this premium pack to do so. So everything is available to everyone mm -hmm. um, and we are more than happy to help you with that. So as you see at the bottom of that, it says that there are new quilt sashing patterns, including two color quilting, um, triple stitch options. So one of the new things that we were really excited about when the Luminaire 1 came was the option to only have the single instead of a triple stitch for quilting. So these are also now going to be available in the sashing techniques as well. Yay! So yay is right. So lots of fun things there. Multi-needles. We all love our multi-needle and Sarah and I had a little powwow when we were trying to figure out how both of us could take one of these wonderful machines home because <laughs> we, <need them. laughs> we definitely need one and neither of us own this machine. So that's on our wish list now. Um, really cool. Um, we have a new cap frame becoming available. And basically what that is going to do is it's going to get you 35% closer to the brim when you're actually doing the embroidery. So what that means is that the actual embroidery itself will sit closer to the brim. So rather than having it inching up towards the top of the hat, it will all be nice and clear and you'll be able to see it right down where you originally wanted it to begin with. That bottom photo is called the tubular frame table. So I know I can't physically show you um, and point out, but it's the center section there is what you're looking at. And that actually extends out. So for instance, if you are embroidering um, a really cool design on pant legs, you can hoop your pants and slide it over this table. And then that table will extend out and help support the weight of the blue jeans. So for any of you who are already multi-needle owners, you know sometimes the weight of whatever that you're embroidering likes to pull a little bit at the front of that hoop. So this is there to support the weight of your pant legs, which is really awesome. Have anything you want to add? We, Tony said we should have our masks on. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've been breathing each other's space a lot lately. Yeah, speaking of, that's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> it's We're just done. too uncomfortable all the time to talk this much. Um, anything else you wanted to add about either of those frames? Um, no, but they are, I think you did say they, they are available for, from our understanding um, for a variety of the previous models. Yeah, so it said that there will be, um, they, they are completely interchangeable, not just with the new machine, which is the 1055. Um, they later. are also, yeah, you'll see that in a few minutes, um, but they're also uh, going to have a frame that is available to work with the previous 10, six, and I believe even the persona models as well. So good. Yes. All right, let's move on to our next guy here, scan and cuts. So the things that they have added on the scan and cut are absolutely amazing. And I think that these should have been done a long time ago. I, they, they announced it and I went, well, duh, why yeah. didn't we have this in the first place? And you don't know this. Um, so these are the two pictures of the new scan and cuts in the next two slides. Are going you, to tell me all about them. They are going to tell you okay. all about them. <laughs> so right now, um, we are currently only um, selling the SDX 230D. You'll see at the top of your screen that it's now a 230DX. Um, so they've changed a few of the things that are going to come in the box. None of those things are going to not be available separately. So if you just purchased one, I don't know, last week or even last year, and you really haven't used it a whole lot, you can still get all of the new fun things that they have done. 
Um, and same goes that bottom one, they actually stopped producing the 225s a little while ago. And we now know the reason is because they have come out with the SDX 225F. F. And F stands for fabric. Fun. <laughs> or fun, that would work too. But the idea behind the actual name is fabric. So the one really cool thing that I was like, yes, because that is one of the questions that I get asked so very many times is how to cut fabric. My fabric's not sticking and what do I do? How can I fix this? I'm really frustrated. Help Lisa. Right, I, that we get those all the time. And most of the time I can help you guys, but sometimes it's, it's harder than others. This one should really, really help. So what they have now, and I know it's kind of hard, there's lots of stuff in there, is a fabric mat, which is going to be a super sticky. So more than your standard, it's got that high tack sheet already on it. And it's a mat that you are going to dedicate just for cutting fabric all by itself. So yay, um, all of our prayers have been answered and it should hopefully be super easy to do that. So you'll see that you are going to get pretty much everything that you had in there before, um, but they're gonna add in the um, fabric mat. And there is also a new vinyl blade. So one of the things that I actually cut the most on my scan and cut at home is some sort of vinyl, whether it's a craft vinyl, which is basically creating a sticker, or if it is heat transfer vinyl that I'm adding to shirts and other miscellaneous items, that is probably my favorite thing to do with my scan and cut. So having an actual vinyl blade is really great because the specialty about that is that it will allow you to do very intricate designs. So it's a, a little bit smaller tip from what I understand that will allow you to have some really great um, detail being able to be done without any shredding or pulling on that. There is a bundle that is available. It's called the Disney Vinyl Auto Blade Kit. And that comes with some really great designs that are just what it's meant to do, some real detailed designs. So there's also some other designs that are, have become available. Are we gonna see anything on that? Yes. Okay, great. We'll talk about that in a few minutes too. <laughs> um, so it's pretty much the same thing. All the designs themselves are um, what's in there. They're adding a few things here and there, but the basics of the machines are the same. We're just gonna add in that fabric mat and the Disney vinyl auto blade kit. I was just trying to see their comments. Um, uh, I can see that they're commenting, but I can't see them. We can't. We're doing we cannot this a virtually bit. see because of my screen is covered with our um, with our Zoom. With our Zoom, we don't have the ability to see that super well. Let's see. There you go. Okay, so on my phone we can see. So let's see. Out of all the things on there, hi Sam and hi Mary and hi, hi to everybody else. There's a whole bunch on there. Um, and to answer Belinda's question, um, no, we don't go online every day. This is just a super special week for all of you that you get to see our smiling faces so very much. Twice, Twice in two I'm, days. We're, sorry. we're so sorry about that. Um, and you will get a notice based on an email. We'll send it out that said, hey, we're gonna go live um, on Facebook or whatnot. Um, in your email, we'll send something out when we're going to or do that. Or Facebook. Um, if and you, it'll be a post, yeah. And, and if you don't know this, um, you can follow the Labu Facebook page. So if you like us and follow us, um, then when we do go live, your phone is really special. If you have Facebook on your cell phone, it will tell you um, Labu went live and then you'll have the option to just go right on <laughs> you there can go and, and, see it. and yep. watch us crazy people um, do really fun stuff. Yes. Um, and I was told by multiple people today how entertaining we were yesterday. So you're welcome ahead of time. I'm sure we'll say something stupid and funny today because we're really good at that. Um, so let's see a couple other questions that were posted. Um, so Kathy, who is in the background? So the only thing that I can think of is maybe you mean our, our uh, I was gonna say Myrtle. <laughs> I call her Hazel. She calls her Hazel. So we have a dress form back there that we have some designs um, kind of showing off. And that is the only thing that's behind us right now. So I, I hope that there's not a ghost that we can't see or something that's gonna, you know, come and get us. Um, Samantha, if you get the Luminaire 2, do we still need the upgrade? You do not. Everything is going to be included. So upgrade one and upgrade two will be already installed if you purchase the Luminaire 2. But, you but I'm pretty sure you already have a Luminaire, Luminaire one. 1. So all you would need to get up to date um, and you would literally have the exact same things would be to purchase upgrade number two, assuming you already purchased upgrade number one. Um, but you do not, is our understanding, have to have number one to get number two. It does appear to be true. So those are 
a couple more things. A couple more before we move on is, um, will the Altair be updated too? Um, so the Altair does not currently have an update. So um, the only update is to the Solaris or the Luminaire are the only things that are currently been released for that. And the 1055 and the scan and cut. Well, the new machines, <laughs> yes, but actually um, an update that you could add to a machine, mm -hmm. there is nothing new for those. No. These are the only ones that um, will get there. Um, and D, of course, we're here to help you spend your money just like every other day. We told you we're those kind of friends. That's the kind of friends that we are, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and Kathy, yes. You can, and we're getting to that. So we'll, we'll just not answer the question yet. <laughs> yep. So um, I'm going to pop back over to the screen and start answering some things that are on the slideshow, and then we'll come back to any other questions as they're posted. So the SDX225F um, is simply going to come with um, a little bit different in the box. You're going to get a fabric mat and a standard mat. So the low tack mat will be an extra purchase, is my understanding. Um, and you will get um, some cute little, uh, I'm sure a, a starting project like you have been in the other boxes as well. Um, I understand that is the only real change in what's coming in that box. It looks like it's gonna be the same price point as where we were for the original 225. Um, so that is kind of the things that are about that. Not a whole lot of changes. Um, still the things that I absolutely love about it. It cuts up to three millimeters thick. Um, it has a really nice um, mat. It does work with the roll feeder, which um, so far, I'm pretty sure everybody that has purchased those from us got a roll feeder for free. So those are still applicable and will work very, very well. I absolutely love the design of this machine. It has the storage compartments in the door, which gives you a flat surface to kind of work on as you're cutting. I'm, um, I, I like to smooth everything out as it's cutting. It's just this habit I can't seem to break. I absolutely love the design of this machine. So yeah. it's a really good place to um, store your tools. Yes. It's that secret place that you can't remember that you have. <laughs> can't remember what, did I, what did I do? <laughs> Where did I put that? And it's hidden underneath there. So again, some new stuff that's scan and cut, that vinyl blade. So that is going to be a real delicate blade that's going to cut real delicate designs um, and specifically um, made to do vinyl. And so my understanding is there's three ways that you can buy it. You can buy the vinyl auto blade and then there are two kits. So you can buy the blade separate and then there is a Disney vinyl auto blade kit and a um, a regular vinyl auto blade kit. The Disney designs, we saw some of them are so, so cute. cute. <laughs> We're like, I gotta have that. I was so, like, I'm so happy. You know, <laughs> you guys have probably figured out we leave a very large chunk of our paycheck here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be paid for the next little bit because it will all come right back to the store. Mm -hmm. I think not that Gene's be being hole. illegal. He is actually paying us. We just happen to give it all back right away. So, um, so, um, screen yes it does okay all right so next screen is this beautiful fabric mat this is a dx mat so if you have had a scan and cut for a really long time and you have not updated your machine this will work on the 125 the 225 the 225f the s uh what is it the sdx 230d and the sdx 230dx yes. it will not work on any of the cm series machines just so that you guys are aware um, they really aren't making things any more specific to that. They're still creating all the original things, your mats and your blades that were originally coming with those. They're still producing them so you can still continue to use your machine. Unfortunately, you have to be like Sarah and I and spend more money and upgrade your machine if you want all this new fun, fancy stuff. But you don't have to buy a second limited edition Disney model to get the fun new stuff. No, you do not have to do I that. Was Though we'll sell it to you if you really want one. <laughs> I was definitely. So concerned. this mat, as you can read, has a really tacky adhesive. It's going to secure that material for you really well, which is the hardest thing when we're cutting fabric is that shifting that happens. And so you end up getting little notches or sometimes it just completely rumples the fabric because you didn't have it adhered well at all. Yeah, it um, sounds like it'll work well even without any without any backing. So webbing. literally just the fabric by itself slap it on there I got to be honest I'm still going to recommend um, starching it at least at this point I haven't had a chance to play with it to make it stiff to make it stiff yes because yeah we're not going to go there today so um thanks D thanks a lot D I loved your joke that you came in today so um you know we'll share that individually not live on the internet so if you guys want to ask us about um that comment sometime later on please feel free we'd love to have a laugh again so um 
And to specifically answer the question, yes, this mat will be available for individual purchase. So it is going to come in both of the current models of scan and cuts, but you can purchase the mat separately. So after you've chewed it all up because you cut tons and tons of fabric, you can replace it. Or if you already have a DX machine and you just want to add that to your repertoire of goodies, it's available that way as well. I think well. we're going to be selling a lot of these. I'm thinking so too, because that's one of the questions we get mm -hmm. all I think of the time. I'm definitely going to need one, maybe two. So um, I happened to be on, literally two days ago, spent 20 minutes on a phone with somebody um, that, uh, uh, Dolores, and she was trying to cut fabric and having some problems. So Dolores, if you're out there, come see me. I got something to help you out here real soon. So um, yeah. So uh, just as a side note, you would want to use that thin fabric auto blade, not the auto one. So the one with the kind of gold top. And coincidentally, if you guys notice, there is a gold bar at the bottom of this mat. So those kind of match, um, they, they like to color coordinate. So that's hopefully a little bit helpful for you as well. Oh, and um, you guys know how much I love the magnetic hoops, right? I'm slightly obsessed with them. Um, it doesn't take much, <laughs> but uh, brother is coming out with a, they, they are saying a whole line of magnetic hoops. So um, I don't really know what that means. I'm assuming the word going series to, was, was used. Was so used, we're so assuming there'll be more. That, yeah. That means there's gotta be more than, more than one. one. So um, these are fantastic. They are designed as far as I know to work with the Solaris and the Luminaire. Um, there is a possibility that these may work with um, some of the other models because the size is seven by 14. So um, it is possible that they will. Um, so your in. Stellaire models will probably work if you have a dream or a destiny. Mm -hmm. um, we're guessing um, that that will work too. So literally the stuff that you guys are seeing on screen is almost everything that we know about this stuff at this point. So we haven't got our hands on them yet. Um, but we'll be able to answer those questions a little bit more specifically once we do and we can actually attach them to different machines and see what works. Yes, but we're very excited about this. So if you've ever used one of those other magnetic hoops, you have that whole top that you have to like plop down. One and, solid um, piece of yeah, magnet on top. You can pinch yourself or uh, get your fingers stuck and in that there. that really hurts. I don't recommend doing it. And sometimes the fabric shifts. So with, as you can see up there, there are, there are pieces and parts. So um, you lay your fabric over and then you kind of, you can use the edges of the those bars to sort of slide over and smooth and, the fabric yeah, as and, you're going and smooth it down and then snip it in place. So um, it looks, it really, looks really cool. cool. <laughs> um, we're very excited about that coming. So hopefully it will all be there and who knows, maybe you'll just have to buy a new frame base because all of those little side parts can maybe be interchangeable. That would be really cool. That would be very cool. They, they should they totally ask us. ask us. They should totally ask us because- That's what we would tell we them. We would totally tell them that, absolutely. So, um, okay. Yes, Holly, I'm so sorry. That won't work on your machine. Um, but uh, hello to all of you new ladies who have joined us since there. Um, Hi, Karen. We miss you. How's it going in Georgia? <laughs> come Not that you can, Yes, please come back. We really miss you. Mm -hmm. So, okay, next Moving screen. On. Moving on, because you guys are probably thinking we're completely nuts by this time. So Gail asked, is there a new 10 needle? There is, there is. So it this is, fabulous. it is, it, yes, we're very excited. Um, it is called the PR1055X. And basically they have taken a lot of the little bits and pieces of, I don't know, I'd say probably the Luminaire and added that into that. So we've had the design center, but they have really done an upgrade to your design center so that you have a lot more capability. Um, you do have the quilt sashing capability now with that. They're calling it quilt broidery. I gotta be honest, I'm probably not gonna use that word. Um, that's kind of a mouthful for me. So. You probably won't hear that ever again, but um, yeah. But the design center. But the design center is really. They really up stepped up. They've the game. really stepped up the game in the design center, which for any of you who don't already know is where you can create designs right at the machine. So um, this would allow you to create stitches and fit them properly into whatever size quilt it is that you have. And um, I know that the Luminaire and the Solaris are both up to 118 inches. I believe this one is as well, but again, we haven't had a chance to push any buttons and, and test that. Mm -hmm. But um, 118 inches um, is a lot more than most of us can handle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that came out really wrong as well. So let's just move on to the next screen, which is, is black. black. That's it. 
That was it. That was it. Yeah. That's everything that we had. So let's see. Um, did I have any other things to talk about? Let's see if we can stop screen sharing. And Hi. hello. <laughs> so um, your crazy ladies are here. So we do have a couple things that are also available um, with Baby Lock, which we don't have any actual. Um, and I don't really know if it's okay for us to let the cat out of the bag, but let's let too the bad. cat out of the bag. Um, they new... sent us an email, yes. so therefore that that's that's there all is we need. A new cover hem coming out. There a cover is. hem and it searcher. looks wonderful. Yes. It looks very reminiscent of kind of the Triumph slash a comp. What is that Acclaim. one? Acclaim. It started with an ACC. I was close. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it looks really really great, and we're really excited because we've been ready for an upgrade on that machine. So yeah. it looks great yeah. um, and it looks so pretty. I yeah. might need one of those. Oh wait, I don't need that one. I know. I might we'll have we'll to spend our money somewhere story. else. <laughs> <Not a problem. laughs> so, so yeah, baby lock, we know um, cover hem is new. That's really the only thing that I Machine can wise. So they see. also will have a new 10 needle um, that is going to call, be called the- Valiant? No, Valiant is what we have now. It's a- uh, um, I had it until you said that. It's her fault. I'll come up with it. Give me just a second. Um, maybe I won't. <laughs> Crap. Seconds up. Yeah, well, maybe I won't. Um, so, and they also, like we said before, there will be a um, Solaris 2 and an upgrade available for that. I want to say it's a VE something. It starts with a V, but it's not Valiant. Valiant is the current 10 needle. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember what it is. It's some feeling, because I was like, oh, nope, it's a venture. It's called Avengers. Told you I'd come up with something. I think Make, that makes sense because it wasn't your euphoria. Your no, I can't say the euphoria or euphoria something of, like that. Is, yes, the, is they're, this cover they're stitch. really big on on happy, names, on happy celebrate names. joy, sex. You know. Yes, you know what do you feel, How do you feel when you sew? I feel euphoria. You know because of that, I feel jubilant. <laughs> um, yeah, we actually had Jean when that first came out. We had signs that I feel, and he, we would make him do it because we're really mean but it was really enjoyable for us so hopefully you guys got to see that at some point um i am oh let's see now i'm going the other direction um just reading over the comments to see if um there is anything um marge unfortunately um that will not fit in your original scan and cut um, so her question was about the fabric mat in the vinyl blade. So you would have to upgrade to one of the DX models, all of the CM model machines. So the 350, 550, 650s, um, those are not going to be compatible with the new products that have recently come out. Um, the design patterns that are coming out, there are um, a nice small smattering of those. Um, there is a scanning cut link, which it, it had something to do with linking to Adobe, um, but there really oh. wasn't a whole lot of information on that. Did you read any more? Yes, Adobe Illustrator. So if you have um, Adobe Illustrator, and oh, I get asked this, it's funny, I, I don't do much with the scan and cut, but I always get weird graphic questions. I must look like the graphic <laughs> girl, I'm not. So the, the question is always, can I use Adobe to get my designs right to yep, my <laughs> right to my scan and cut, and the answer has always been, unfortunately, no. Um, but now yes, you what? can. There's going to be. Can. It sounds like there's going to be an update, and you should be able to just wirelessly send right from your Adobe Illustrator over, over to, to the scan and cut. The scan and cut. So. But you do have to purchase this link. It is not a free thing. Um, have zero information on what that will end up being, but that is um, an available thing. As we mentioned before, there is um, some new design packs that are coming out for the cut files. So there are going to be some new options. There's a Frozen 2 with all of the new things um, and evidently something about lines from the movie that are real popular, like, um, I'm not gonna sing the song, Never mind. So um, there's some new Mickey Mouse, um, Mickey and Minnie Modern, I think is what it was called. And one of my favorite things that they said about new collections is there is a rhinestone collection. So for all of you who have that beautiful rhinestone kit, but you maybe not have a way to create designs real easily by yourself, you can now purchase some rhinestone designs um, in a collection. So that would be one of those little credit card size pieces with the download code you would go to Canvas Workspace and get. Those, I understand, are completely compatible with all scan and cuts. They have not done anything, to my understanding, 
that is not going to be compatible with all of those as well, because that is done through Canvas Workspace, not at the machine level itself. Um, and playbooks. So last but not least, there is going to be a playbook for um, the SDX scanning cuts, and there will also be a playbook for that new 10 needle, because there's going to be a lot of changes. Did they say there was a new Luminaire playbook? They did not. I don't remember hearing that, but there is a current Luminaire playbook. It just evidently hasn't been updated um, with new projects. Mm -hmm. So um, the things that are in there are still relative to um, all the new stuff. What the new is, I'm not really sure what that means. You know what that one means? Hmm. What, know what the new is, no. Hi, Marge. <laughs> You're going to have to ask us that question again, Miss Marge, because I'm not really sure what you mean by what the new is. So the new ones, um, if you're talking scanning cuts, would be any of the DX models. Um, and uh, maybe those were supposed to be dollar signs. Um, I'm thinking that that new DX is probably going to be right about where we were previously on the 225s. So you can't quote me on this. It's just a stab in the dark because we haven't gotten all the numbers yet. But I'm thinking it's probably going to be around 699, which is where the other one was. So maybe, you know, a little bit plus or minus, but somewhere in that range should be a good stab in the dark. Um, and we are at 899 on the current 230. I'm guessing it's going to be pretty close um, to that as well. Again, plus or minus just a bit, but that's a range that you guys can work with. Um, we also don't exactly know when everything is going to start coming in. So, so we keep hearing they're at the warehouse, but yes. how much is at the warehouse? We're not 100% sure right. of yet. So. so rest assured, we will be ordering. We will be ordering upgrades. Um, we already have a Luminaire 2 and the new 10 needle in the shop. Yep. Uh, the, the Luminaire, Luminaire 2, 2 is, is, on out. It is on the I took it out of the box yesterday. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Um, so that one is out. So we do have the new stuff. Um, the 1055 is here. Um, we haven't gotten it out of the box yet. Uh, if you have been into the store recently, you, you might realize that we're still trying to put ourselves back together. Um, Lisa and I had this brilliant idea to go ahead with the Christmas in July sale while we were putting the store, <laughs> while we were back, putting together. The store back together and um, hey, we can handle it. It was probably so not the bless best all your choice. hearts for coming in yes. and keeping us running. Um, we're really glad you guys support us as much as you do. So thank you so very much for all of you coming in and, and dealing with the chaos that has been Laboo's for the last little bit. Um, we are slowly getting things back together and um, it's starting to look like a store again. We're, we're getting to where we're quite happy. Mm -hmm. um, some other questions, um, when does the sale start? Um, we can start taking orders for things now. I do have a single um, XP2, which is the Luminaire, that we could actually send home with a lucky person, first come, first serve. So come on in as soon as you would like to do that. Um, this is going to be posted to Facebook. So for any of you who missed parts of it, you can, um, as soon as we, you know, kind of hit end at the begin at the end of all of this, it will run itself, save it all, and then re and post it to the line. So you can watch this wonderful entertainment um, any time that you would like. Many so if, <laughs> as many times as yes. you would like. So for any of you who have missed anything, you came in a little bit late, so on and so forth, um, you can go back and repeat any parts of it that you would like. Um, slide shows, you should be there. Um, I did, and I apologize, that was not my best slideshow So work. she started that slideshow at three o'clock. So I say um, big round of applause because I don't know that I would have been able to put it together that fast. And in that process, we also figured out how to post it to Facebook while we were doing this. So, hey, um, this has been a challenge r and r in too, guys. So we're learning as we go. So a um, couple other questions, go ahead. Um, I was just gonna say, um, Brother does have the information posted to their website. So they have the new 2021 lineup of, uh, of stuff out. So you can see um, the brochures, you can see all about the information. Um, I have seen people have already started to post some YouTube videos about the Luminaire 2 already. So you can see some stuff out there. Um, I promise as soon as we get a chance um, and get our hands on there, we will start playing with it. We will. And um, we will also be sending information out through email about the new information. So as soon as we get things that we can actually um, send, out. send out and put everything together, we will absolutely do so. So keep an eye on your email. Uh, you may get a few more than normal from us. Um, I know we haven't been bombarding you with tons of emails. Um, but you probably will get a few in, over the next couple of weeks because there's so much new information that has become available. 
Um, the camera feature on the 10 needle, there is still a camera attached to that. They have not removed it. It's going to function pretty close to the same as what you had before. Um, the advantages that we have now is we have a new magnetic frame that is a capability on there and you have all of the new sashing and enhanced features that are in the design center that is in there. So the design center was in the 1050X. This one is now called the 1055 because, you know, why try to confuse us? Right. Um, but it, it's going to function pretty much the same. So you'll be able to scan what's in your hoop and it will come up on screen so that you can place things perfectly. And you can also scan something in the design center to come up on screen to create from an image, so on and so forth. So you'll be able to do all of that. And it is um, a, able to be connected through the phone app. So you can actually send from your phone into the design center to create designs from there. So clip art, different things that you have downloaded from the internet and you've got on your handy dandy um, phone that we can't seem to live without, you can actually send all of that stuff into the design center and create from there as well. So I hope that answered that question. If not, um, please let me know and we will get more in depth with you too. Anything else you wanna add? Um, no, I, I mean, that that's, that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot. Yeah, the the they really did a nice. It looks like they really did a nice job on the the new ten needle of of getting that a nice little facelift. It um, yes. those uh, like I said, both of, of us are like I want favorite one. thing. Yeah, some of our favorite things um, from the from the luminaire design studio, and the luminaire, design center. They have they have added that added and, in. And if you really are um, looking to get into a business with this, you can. Um, uh, Wi-Fi, so wirelessly, you can cool. you yeah. can have up to 10, ten of these machines. And again, we'll be happy to sell those together to <laughs> for you. Yes, um, anytime you get past two, it's a really good deal. Yeah, <laughs> we'll come up with a really good number for you. But you can actually connect and send um, and watch. So there, there is a um, stitch. Uh, there's a word for that. Is there a word on there? My stitch monitor? Monitoring. Stitch monitoring. That's the word That's that I was looking app. for. It's called my it stitch in, monitor. It's in the app and it will actually tell you if a thread has broken or tell you if you finished the project. And the new 10 needle will actually show you which needles have thread issues and so on and so forth, which um, was a new screen they kind of popped up and showed it, which was kind of cool. So yes. um, really nice stuff. The hat hoop looks really, really cool. Um, I haven't made a whole lot of hats just because I haven't really needed to, but I am really excited. I'm pretty darn sure I'm gonna have to buy that hat frame because that's just, it looks so simple and wonderful to use. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited about all of this. I hope you guys are too. And we would be more than happy to answer any questions individual. Just give us a call at the store, 734-663-3033. Shoot us an email at laboos at sbcglobal.net. We'll be happy to, um, you know, start uh, start the paperwork on your new machine. Absolutely, right um, over the phone. Right over the phone. <laughs> we are very accommodating, and um, I know some of you are really going to want to get that new upgrade um, for your Luminaire or your Solaris. So um, you can. I don't know that. Yes. Why so, not? Again can't 100% quote us because we haven't approved this from Jean yet, but we're looking that that upgrade is only going to be $399 for the Luminaire to make your Luminaire 1 a Luminaire 2. So um, that is way better than we expected. We were expecting something between seven, 800, mm -hmm. at least 600. And so we're, I'm very excited about There's that. No hardware that comes. Right. There is no physical one. items. It's just going to be um, software changes mm -hmm. in the machine itself, but, but some really great software changes. If you changes. do want to get that magnetic hoop, if you buy the we magnetic hoop at the same time. We will have a, a bundle with time. the upgrade and the magnetic hoop. But again, I don't know exactly how much that's going to be. Right. But it will be a little bit better price if you do than decide if you buy them to get separate. that at the same time. Absolutely. We haven't gotten our magnetic hoop here yet. Um, but I'm going to play with it the moment it walks. But we are going to get one. We are going to get one. Absolutely. So, so. We've already put our names down for the upgrades. <laughs> we are number one and two, just in case anybody was wondering. We keep arguing about who's one and who's two, but she can be thing one. I'm okay with that. Or thing two. I'm shorter. <laughs> <laughs> so we she are really glad. <laughs> So we are really glad that you guys joined us today and we're really excited to share all this wonderful information with you and um, hope you're as excited as we are. We'll look forward to hearing from you guys. Bye. All right. Take care. Where to go? There it is. And bye. bye. bye.